uranium dioxide or uranium, 4, oxide, also known as urania or uranus oxide, is an oxide of uranium, and is a black, radioactive, crystalline powder that naturally occurs in the mineral uraninite. It is used in nuclear fuel rods and nuclear reactors. A mixture of uranium and plutonium dioxides is used as MOX fuel. Prior to 1960, it was used as yellow and black color in ceramic glazes and glass. Production Uranium dioxide is produced by reducing uranium trioxide with hydrogen. UO3 plus H2 or UO2 plus H2O at 700 degree Celsius. This reaction plays an important part in the creation of nuclear fuel through nuclear reprocessing and uranium enrichment. Chemistry Equal structure equals, the solid is isostructural with fluorite, where each U is surrounded by eight O nearest neighbors in a cubic arrangement. In addition, the dioxides of cerium, plutonium and neptunium have the same structures. No other elemental dioxides have the fluorite structure. Upon melting, the measured average UO coordination reduces from 8 in the crystalline solid, down to 6.7 A plus or minus 0.5 in the melt. Models consistent with these measurements show the melt to consist mainly of UO6 and UO7 polyhedral units, where roughly two-thirds of the connections between polyhedra are corner sharing and one-third are edge sharing. Equals oxidation equals Uranium dioxide is oxidized in contact with oxygen to the triuranium octaloxide. 3UO2 plus O2 are U3O8 at 700 degree Celsius. The electrochemistry of uranium dioxide has been investigated in detail as the galvanic corrosion of uranium dioxide controls the rate at which used nuclear fuel dissolves. See the spent nuclear fuel page for further details. Water increases the oxidation rate of plutonium and uranium metals. Equals carbonization equals, uranium dioxide is carbonized in contact with carbon, forming uranium carbide and carbon monoxide. UO2 plus 4C or UC2 plus 2CO, this process must be done under an inert gas as uranium carbide is easily oxidized back into uranium oxide. Uses Equals nuclear fuel equals, UO2 is used mainly as nuclear fuel, specifically as UO2 or as a mixture of UO2 and PuO2 called a mixed oxide, in the form of fuel rods and nuclear reactors. Note that the thermal conductivity of uranium dioxide is very low when compared with uranium, uranium nitride, uranium carbide and zirconium cladding material. This low thermal conductivity can result in localized overheating in the centers of fuel pellets. The graph below shows the different temperature gradients in different fuel compounds. For these fuels the thermal power density is the same and the diameter of all the pellets are the same. Equals color for ceramic glaze equals. Uranium oxide was used to color glass and ceramics prior to World War II. Urania-based ceramics become green or black when fired in a reducing atmosphere and yellow to orange when fired in an oxidizing atmosphere. Orange-colored Fiesta ware is a well-known example of a product with a urania-colored glaze. Urania has also been used in formulations of enamel, uranium glass, and porcelain. It is possible to determine with a Geiger counter if a glaze or glass contains urania. Equals other use equals, depleted UO2 can be used as a material for radiation shielding. For example, Dwokrit is a heavy concrete material where gravel is replaced with uranium dioxide aggregate. This material is investigated for use for casks for radioactive waste. Casks can be also made of DUO2 steel cermet, a composite material made of an aggregate of uranium dioxide serving as radiation shielding, graphite and or silicon carbide serving as neutron radiation absorber and moderator, and steel as the matrix whose high thermal conductivity allows easy removal of decay heat. Depleted uranium dioxide can be also used as a catalyst, for example for degradation of volatile organic compounds in gaseous phase, oxidation of methane to methanol, and removal of sulfur from petroleum. It has high efficiency and long-term stability when used to destroy VOCs when compared with some of the commercial catalysts, such as precious metals, TO2, and Co-304 catalysts. Much research is being done in this area, 
DU being favored for the uranium component due to its low radioactivity. The use of uranium dioxide as a material for rechargeable batteries is being investigated. The batteries could have high power density and potential of 4.7 V per cell. Another investigated application is in photoelectrochemical cells for solar-assisted hydrogen production where UO2 is used as a photonode. In earlier times, uranium dioxide was also used as heat conductor for current limitation, which was the first use of its semiconductor properties. Equal semiconductor properties equals, the band gap of uranium dioxide is comparable to these of silicon and gallium arsenide near the optimum for efficiency versus band gap curve for absorption of solar radiation, suggesting its possible use for very efficient solar cells based on Schottky diode structure. It also absorbs at five different wavelengths, including infrared, further enhancing its efficiency. Its intrinsic conductivity at room temperature is about the same as of single crystal silicon. The dielectric constant of uranium dioxide is about 22, which is almost twice as high as of silicon and gas. This is an advantage over C and gas in construction of integrated circuits, as it may allow higher density integration with higher breakdown voltages and with lower susceptibility to the CMOS tunneling breakdown. The Seebeck coefficient of uranium dioxide at room temperature is about 750 a microvolt K, a value significantly higher than the 270 a microvolt K of thallium tin telluride and thallium germanium telluride and of bismuth tellurium alloys, other materials promising for thermoelectric power generation applications and peltier elements. The radioactive decay impact of the 235U and 238U on its semiconducting properties was not measured as of 2005. Due to the slow decay rate of these isotopes, it should not meaningfully influence the properties of uranium dioxide solar cells and thermoelectric devices, but it may become an important factor for VLSI chips. Use of depleted uranium oxide is necessary for this reason. The capture of alpha particles emitted during radioactive decay as helium atoms in the crystal lattice may also cause gradual long-term changes in its properties. The stoichiometry of the material dramatically influences its electrical properties. For example, the electrical conductivity of U01.994 is orders of magnitude lower at higher temperatures than the conductivity of U02.001. Uranium dioxide, like U308, is a ceramic material capable of withstanding high temperatures, making it suitable for high temperature applications like thermophotovoltaic devices. Uranium dioxide is also resistant to radiation damage making it useful for rad-hard devices for special military and aerospace applications. A Schottky diode of U308 and a PNP transistor of U02 were successfully manufactured in a laboratory. Toxicity, uranium dioxide is known to be absorbed by phagocytosis in the lungs. See also, uranium oxide, cleavite, duagrit. References Further reading, Barrett S.A. Jacobson A.J., Toffield B.C., Fender B.E.F. The Preparation and Structure of Barium Uranium Oxide Bar UO3 Plus X. Acta Crystallographica B38, 2775 Euro 2781. doi, 10.1107 per 2067748820099935. External links, Semiconducting Properties of Uranium Oxides. Free Dictionary Listing for Uranium Dioxide, The Uranium Dioxide International Bioanalytical Industries, Incorporated.